Now, the U.S. is planning to extend tariff exemptions for some countries, but not all. That's according to Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross, who has it, it also indicated that the EU, Canada, and other allies have been asked to accept import quotas in return for tariff-free access. We're joined from Brussels by Bloomberg's EU government editor, Richard Bravo. Richard, what is the latest on where the Trump administration stands as far as the steel and aluminum tariffs? Well, as you mentioned, uh, Secretary Ross mentioned over the weekend that in order for countries to gain exemptions to these tariffs, they will have to accept uh, certain import quotas, um, which does create a very difficult situation for the EU because the EU cannot institute these kinds of quotas without abrogating the multilateral trade rules set up by the WTO. So, uh, as you know, uh, German Chancellor Angela, Angela uh, Merkel and uh, French Prime Minister Macron went to Washington last week to try and negotiate some kind of a, uh, an agreement with, with Washington. So far, that does not appear to have gone as well as the EU would have hoped. Mm. And Richard, uh, good morning to you. When I was last in Brussels with you, uh, emotions were running quite high on the EU side around this. Th they'd just been announced, these tariffs, and there was a feeling, certainly expressed by, I remember the Belgian leadership, that you know, the EU didn't want to negotiate this with a, with a gun to its head, was the, uh, was the phrase that was being used, you know, under the pressure of these tariffs. So what is the likely next step then from the EU? What is the reaction likely to be? Well, that's exactly right. Uh, Macron specifically said we will not negotiate with a gun to our head. Over the weekend, uh, German economy minister Altmaier uh, mentioned that they would like to bring back the free trade agreement discussions that were going on between the EU and the U.S., which were halted after Trump became president. Uh, but more importantly, uh, the European Commission, which handles trade policy for the EU, has indicated that they will not be bringing those talks back up. So uh, the European Commission's Trade Commissioner uh, Malmstrom has said that they will react uh, threefold to U.S. tariffs, uh, the first being retaliation. Uh, the EU has already put together a list of products that they will target from the U.S., and uh, those include things like Harley-Davidson motorcycles, which are made in Wisconsin, which of course is Paul Ryan's home state, as well as bourbon, which is uh, made in uh, Kentucky, which is Mitch McConnell's home state. So they are very targeted uh, products. 